live from Austin, where people come into the studio and show great enthusiasm. You know it's going to be a great night. Now put your hands together because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Yo. Oh my God! Oh, it's gonna be that kind of night. Yeah, bitch! It's Oktoberfest. <laughs> uh, so Woo! I. So I raise mean, a Stein. We, for we Oktoberfest. <laughs> We were talking about going to Dragon Con. It's the thing that Germans can talk about with pride. <laughs> uh, 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 we were talking about going to Dragon Con, and I was like, oh, that kind of would be fun, but it seems like a lot of work. But it turns out that Dragon Con came to us. Indeed. Uh, so uh, we, have a, we have a great crowd here tonight, and it's because we have a very special guest. And he's so special that we're going to spend the first 15 minutes without bringing him on stage. So, uh, (laughs) Brian, I was not here last week. Yes. I was injured. I didn't notice. With an upper respiratory infection. Well, thank you. Nobody cares. I mean, sure. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, Mike TV was I think it was the best show. I'm sure you loved it. I'm sure you fucking loved it with Mike TV. It was very fun. An actual rock star. It was was just... It's just your dream. Yeah, no. Me and the vampire. You just want me to be here. Hey, man, Yeah. Oh, tell me more about. It. Oh, Brian. Oh, see great the, show, story. the show's getting great, better by the second. Great story, Brian. Fuck. Oh what? shit, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Anyway, Brian, what happened? Wow, that's a great story. Oh my god. I'm like TV. Wow. Uh, so, uh, well, there's one thing about having a crowd that is not your own. <laughs> they don't know running jokes. <laughs> Because anybody who listens to this show would have been dying there. That going That was fucking amazing. And I don't blame you. Well, uh, uh, let, let, let's set, uh, uh, set the scene and then, yes. and then land the plane on this let's one. Let's do it. So uh, one week ago, about an hour before the show, uh-huh. uh, I was informed by my wife that, hey, guy, you know when you make prim- promises to your daughter? You uh-huh. kind of have to keep them. You have to remember them. Yeah, and uh, 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 it, uh, tomorrow will be the day that you do it. I'm like, cool. And I was like, which promise? <laughs> and she was like, uh, your daughter's about to turn 16. And I'm like, uh-huh. And she was like, you've been talking about how you performed at Halloween Horror Nights over at Universal. Yep. Uh huh. And, and, and how you can get her in at any time. And she's like, uh huh. And she's like, so she just went to the counselor's office and took the next couple of days off at her high school. And, and I'm like, and? Uh, and so suddenly I was handed the task of finally, <laughs> hey, bossing my way through my daughter's So six, you had sweet on 24 hours notice. The gauntlet thrown down that you had to go from here to Orlando, Florida, and then take your daughter, and I would assume, because of what your promises were, on a VIP excursion throughout Halloween Horror Nights. (laughs) Brian? You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to find some pictures that I can send to, to Bryce. But but basically, as of one week ago, all I knew is that I had booked a flight. Okay. Okay. That was on this show that I wasn't at that universally panned critically. <laughs> uh, or was a one uh, of the uh, we're, not, we're not here to get into it. We're not here to get into it. All right. We're not here to get into it. But, but you know, uh, uh, let, let's just say the... The Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, I mean, <laughs> what do they know? We all know. All right. Anyway, but you had to fly the next day to Orlando. Yes. Uh, uh, and that's uh, all you had. That's all you knew while correct. you were recording last week. You just knew that you had a flight. Right. So the mission is yeah. my daughter is going to turn 16 and she needs uh, an ex. And by the way, uh, I don't think I'm talking too far out of school. There's a bit of like social high school stuff happening and and so this is charged like she needs to have a very exceptional time and all i have because otherwise she'd be humiliated yep if her dad was lame yep she would feel the pain yes if your dad is lame you feel the pain uh high school commandments (laughs) (laughs) i'm looking for the real thriller (laughs) the uh uh it was a rhyming it doesn't matter uh the the, uh (laughs) Uh, so, so 
the next day we wake up and I'm trying to be so chill about everything because I know it's my job to make this incredibly special for her. Yeah. So, so we go to the airport and we drop off the car and we're making jokes or whatever. Now keep in mind, the end goal, the su success condition is if we can vaguely dress as Joel and Ellie and go into the Last of Us haunted house. Because she loves Last of Us. Yes, and, and that was the one thing she wanted is I want to get into this haunted house and, 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 and we'll both dress up. And so she cosplayed as Ellie and I cosplayed you're not allowed how to cosplay. Would you, how would you cosplay as a middle-aged, disheveled man? <laughs> <laughs> Gonna walk right past that one. <laughs> but the... Uh, the the mine uh, whirls. <laughs> uh, 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 the important part was uh, we get on the plane uh, and, we, and we land and we find ourselves... Okay, so first thing, uh, question. Uh, l let's play Hey Boss the game. Did, how much did Brian spend on tickets? With only one hour's notice. Wait, tickets to what? Uh, 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 sorry, flights. We'll start with flights. Uh, I would say probably nothing because you spend everything in points. All right. Uh, I or five. I, I think you have to spend five dollars per flight. Yeah, yeah. If you for, use for, for the tax. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I right. would say you probably spent. After tenacious D, I would say you probably spent uh, eight hundred dollars for both of y'all round trip. Rice. Uh, two people, last minute. You might have had the companion pass, but... Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, companion pass. Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say I'm gonna say a solid... A, a one or a thousand. I'm going to say a, a flat thou. Okay. Flat thou. So... Uh, Walter flat thou. Two things. Uh, number one, everybody who said I had uh, uh, her as a companion pass, you get a point. Uh, second of all, uh, turns out... For the first time in 15 years, I've run out of airline points, so I did have to buy last minute. Oh no! It was about 400 bucks. Okay. okay. But she flew for free. Sensible. Right. Sensible. Okay. All right. So golf clap for sensible. Golf clap. <laughs> so we're on the plane, and then I realized, what's the next mini boss that I probably should be thinking of right now? Well, at that point, in either order, it's a hotel or rental car. Right. So I go to rental car, and uh, I, I, I go to the budget.com, uh, and it turns out they have an option called a mystery car. Oh! Have you, ever, have you ever done the mystery car? Is it a vampire? Is it a ghoul? It's a mystery car for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the theme song. Okay. It's the well-known budget rent-a-car theme song for the mystery car. So for three days, it's October. I select the seventy-five dollar option. Yeah, it's seventy-five full stop. I don't know what kind of car I'm gonna get. Now, this is this is something from traveling a lot. That uh, uh, there are two cars that are most prominently available at a rental car agency. It is either. A car half the size of a Kia, <laughs> like that you've never heard of. They made they they 3D printed in the back. Like <laughs> it is effectively a roller skate with a stool in the middle of it, uh, or a Ford F one fifty. There are two th or or vans. There there are three cars for which they cannot get rid of, and that is gigantic vans, very 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 small economy cars. Place your bet. Van. Uh, uh, some very small car. Uh, oh, I bet I bet you got a bitchin' Corvette. I bet you got a sick two two door coupe coupe. That is the third option that sometimes happens because they're inconvenient. Uh, we got essentially the Redeemer. <laughs> like we got yeah! a giant monster truck. Yeah! So that was a win. Driving uh, through Orlando <laughs> with my big black truck. <laughs> I'm a dad driving to Orlando. <laughs> We land. Come on, daughter. Get in the wheel. I'm going to drive. Here's the deal. Going to a Disney park or maybe it's Universal. I'm a truck dad. Get real. Here's how it's going. All right. So, so we, uh, uh, we land. Only spent 400 bucks on these tickets. Yeah. Driving down. Here we go. Truck dad now. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth verse. So, yeah. <laughs> we land. 
and uh, our only job is to get to the truck. <laughs> yeah. And it's around this time that I think about the fact that my wife gave me one commandment. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not go to Epcot Food and Wine Festival without her. Why? Well, because she really would be upset if we had a good time there without her. Oh. It is, is it food and wine now? Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. Damn. yeah. So uh, uh, I text... For those of you who don't know, Epcot Food and Wine Festival is not only the traditional experience of Epcot, where you you can eat better than theme park food and drink better than theme park spirits. But also they add other little stands where you can drink even more uh, uh, better than theme park spirits and eat better than theme park food uh, for the low, low price of a lot more than Brian paid for tickets to fly there. <laughs> so uh, we land and we're in line getting ready to get in the car. And I text Bonnie. I'm like, Hey, our flight. Oh, I, I, one other thing. I, 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 if you ever fly Southwest Airlines, usually uh, or, or classically, the flight attendants would do comedy shtick. And I haven't seen that in a long time. But it turns out that flights going into Orlando are a good time to do all the comedy shtick. Yeah. Flights going out of Orlando, not so much. <laughs> but, uh, but, but the guy did the full on comedy shtick. Uh, it was amazing. Um, uh, uh, paid, I, I didn't pay for my drinks, is what I'm saying. Um, and then the, uh, <laughs> sure. we get in and I text Bonnie. I'm like, Hey, how, how hard are we on the no Epcot thing? And she responds with the cryptic, no brushwood shall ever hear of any adventures at Epcot during this trip. And I thought, Oh, I get it. Uh, we have permission. Just don't talk about it. <laughs> so we go straight to Epcot and <laughs> this is because Bonnie doesn't want to hear that you had fun or you don't want to spread world word throughout the family that there is fun to be had at Epcot. I think both. I think she didn't want to hear about it. She didn't want everybody to, you know, be all, why didn't I get to go to Epcot yeah. and all that stuff. So uh, we show up and at this point I'm in full hey boss mode. I'm telling, I'm extroverting beyond my wildest dreams. I'm telling everybody who will listen about my daughter who had one wish to go see this haunted house. It's her 16th birthday or whatever. And then the person at the booth is like, oh, okay. Well, and she uses her friends and family thing to get us in line at the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. And she write, she pulls out a button that says, happy birthday, Josie 16, and hands it. And Josie grabs this button from the person at the booth at the front of Epcot and goes to put it on her bag. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You put that as close to your face as you can. Yeah. <laughs> and both of us are wearing it. And uh, uh, she doesn't understand it, but about an hour later, when literally everyone wants to be her best friend and keeps yeah. talking and we keep skipping lines, she begins to figure out, oh, this is a special secret sigil. Thing where yeah. people keep doing you favors. And then she turns that shit on me. Uh -oh. Every time she's like, I want to do whatever. I'm like, I don't want to do whatever. She would just reach forward and... Mm. <laughs> and she's like, how about you hand me them keys to that big black truck? Yeah, I'm only 16, but I know I need to nut it up and drive through Orlando and do what I want. Cause I'm truck daughter, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna. We have to ignore nut it up. I just let everyone know we have to it's ignore nut It's a truck, up. Bryce. It's a truck. <laughs> just, yeah, truck they have nuts. nut it up. It's anatomy. Look it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so we we get uh, we do every single attraction at all of Epcot, including the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Hey. By the way, one way or another was my song. Uh, but the uh, uh, then uh, it's like okay, look. I'm sorry. I have to use this last minute app called T Hotel Tonight and find out where so we're going to go. So you have not to. booked a hotel. No, it's you now. went to Epcot. <laughs> it's you now. got the truck. You you are you are there in the middle, and I'm going. I'm not would, even would, going to would ask you, you say how many. It that way. I'm yeah. not even going to ask you how many drinks in you are. Like, <laughs> uh, 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 but 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 at that point, you're like, fuck it. I know Orlando is hotel saturated enough that we will be able to get something. We just need to know where to go because we are getting to the point where we're going to have to get into the car and I don't know where to drive. So Hotel Tonight has a disclaimer where it's like, hey, you don't even get to pick whether you get a king size or two queens. You're just gonna take the last minute offer. And I go through and it's like, oh, there's there's something on campus with a 217, there's this 150 or, and then I see one for $85 and it says, 
it, pretty good, I guess. And then I'm like, fine. And I just need to lock it in. So we wrap up the day. We come back. and uh, You I, went with the budget option on Hotel Tonight? I sure did. We go in to check in. And I, I say to the person, it's very You're quiet. You're gambling. I know. I'm full you on were, gambling. I was in Vegas. But I but was But you gambling. were gambling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I go in and I say to the check-in person, I was like, look, I know that technically I'm not allowed to pick between a king and two queens, but... Uh, you know, I'm here with my daughter. Did you know it's her one wish to go to this one park? Oh my God. <laughs> Did it uh, work? Uh, we get to the part where I'm like, if you have available two queens, that would be great. And a confused look comes over her. And she's like, sir, they all have two. Oh, two beds? Two bedrooms. And I was like, what? We're like, yes. And then we go into the room and there's not only two separate bedrooms, there's two bathrooms. It's a fucking apartment. There's 1,100, uh, oh, 1, 1,100 square feet. It's bigger than the duplex I was in when she was conceived. And we just <laughs> live in an apartment. Uh, and then the next day, the next day, it's like, okay, uh, what are we going Anyway, we went to Halloween Horror Nights. It was great. I won. I'm great at everything. Hello, my name is Brian. Big round of applause! Yeah. Yeah. Eighty-five. How much, how much bigger than the duplex for which she was conceived? Uh, one hundred like by, square by feet. Hundred. Yeah, yeah, you know it. Yeah, by heart. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was gonna play that for comedy, but you just, you just really knew Whoops. it. Turns out I no. am that guy. Yeah. Uh, but eighty-five this man dollars. Knows eighty-five where he, dollars. A man who knows where he nuts. <laughs> That's a good... Anyway, it was a, it was a really good trip. It was really precious, and we had a good time. Uh, well, I'm very, very excited that uh, uh, you guys did that. You guys know that any kind of Florida... I'm wearing a Florida hat here. Like, any kind of Florida memories, they always matter more to me. But not as much as our friendship with the following person. He's a beautiful man, world-renowned for his... <laughs> Uh, a shapely jawline <laughs> and uh, studly pecs. Uh, he's also a uh, amazing author and a great friend of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Scott Segler! What up, buddy? What up, buddy? Thank you. I, uh, I don't know how I follow up my experience is sweet, this week in Travelocity, but we're going to do the best we can. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 even better, we're just going to drink and be funny. <laughs> Sounds great, but here we go. I already opened up one thing, and it went all over myself, and I had to change. Yeah, is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there was. I heard there was a lot of chaos behind yeah. me. It was you spilling a beer on yourself. Yeah, spilling a beer on myself. Looked like I had both urinated and vomited on myself at the same time. Good. So well, I hey, dodged out. The good yeah, news they, they is all, nobody yeah. knows anything about that. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, so, so number one, uh, uh, here's the biggest thing, and we should get this out of the way right now. If you are listening to the show right now, either live or on podcast, what you need to do is go buy The Crypt by Scott Segler. And, 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 the, and are, are we saying Audible? Is Audible the way to go? If you are an Audible customer, go buy it in Audible right now, because we're at number four in sci-fi. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Out. We want to get to possible, number one. Possible get to number one. Side. And then uh, Shruti was like, let's, screw it. Let's just get to number one in books. In books, Period. baby. Books, baby. Bang! So that's, uh, go buy this book. Do it. You'll love it. Ray Porter's a narrator. He's the bomb. So you'll dig it. Uh, so please, please, please go do that. Uh, uh, your career is always one of the things that I love the most about the internet because we have, in our careers, been, you know, beyond the wall like feral podcast creators <laughs> yes. you are one of us and whenever like like you are succeeding especially in the world that is as musty and stuffy as, as 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 publishing is it just just oh no, nothing makes me happier well and and i i don't think i'm talking out of school in, in that we have sat and had hours long conversations about how right you've done everything and we have modeled our behavior after yours fabulous. Uh, fabulous. Uh, everybody clap for scott i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell have you been doing uh largely just getting ready to pimp this book out and doing that for a while now and writing a bunch and uh 
Hey and I do a live stream every Wednesday. Yeah. So we do that. And then what we've been doing is now I write a, a book on Friday, write a chapter book on Friday, and then I live stream that on Wednesday, and then we strip that audio out, and that audio becomes the podcast feed on Sunday. So now we're going on <laughs> 17 years. Is that right? So 17 years of podcasting? Yeah. So we're in a ballpark. So do, do do you ever take back the podcasts or do oh, you yeah. leave them? Okay. Yeah, we have several times. Like we we put something out as a podcast, and then we get a book deal or we want to put it out ourselves. We don't want the older version out there. So if it needs to be written, we just stealthily pull it down, and fans will bitch all the time, like, "Where's that one story?" I'm like, "That's too bad, man. It's not my yeah. podcast anymore. It's, it's over yeah. here behind the paywall. Behind my the friend. paywall. Let's go. <laughs> I don't fuck for free no more. You better <laughs> fucking pony up, my friend." So uh, yeah, we will change them from time to time. This one in particular, we started podcasting the crypt uh, 13 years ago, somewhere in that bump. What's that? 2008. What's the math? 15. 15 years ago. We just need ago. to get a a microphone. Yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. we do. I, 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 if, if if we is there a spare mic? Right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we got this. Uh, but uh, it sounds to me like what you did is you had a story that you put out as a gift for free to attract attention, that so that correct. later you could harvest uh, that, that, the goodwill. That is the that is my business model. And there's some lovely people here who are fans. I give them a bunch of stuff for free, get them hooked on it, and then I'd be like, "You want the next thing? You're going to pay for it," which isn't entirely accurate. I'm like, I mean, but, "Hey, how but, much but, you guys pay for this but, one so I can stop eating Cheerios all day?" But at, but at that point, they're not paying for the next one. They're paying really for everything you did before, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, they'll pay. Oh, they'll, oh, they'll, they'll pay. pay. One way or another. They'll pay mightily. <laughs> one way or another, they are going to pay. But uh, people will listen to the whole book for free and then go buy the damn thing anyways. We have people who bought the crypt in three different versions today. They bought ebook, audiobook, and hardcover. Because, by the way, today is launch day. Today's launch day, yeah. Today is launch day on yeah. that. So, uh, uh, everybody, everybody, please, 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 go, go support uh, Scott. So, here's the deal. Uh, okay. uh, what, what, what's, uh, it's been, I, I feel like, the the blip happened. Like there was like 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 we saw each like other like yeah. like like once a year, twice a year, uh, all the time, yep. and then all of a sudden there's this like gigantic gap. What's happened? What have you been doing? What what's happened at summer camp? Uh, we have taken advantage of the blip and yeah. just gotten a bunch of books done. So we had all this back content. So you we wrote overdo. wrote the whole time. Boring. Yeah, yeah. Whole that's time. all you ever do. That's right. That's correct. The, 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 when I talked to you before, you were like, what are you doing? Writing. The lockdown affected me almost Give me something not interesting. At all. What was an interesting thing that happened? We got married. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Talk, talk about burying the lead. Are Jesus you Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, uh, How my, long do I have to go after miking A before? <laughs> and by the way, even though I miked A, she still had to hold up the ring and signal <laughs> to Scott. I knew what you were after. I knew what you were after. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. Yeah, we started out as business partners way back when we first met you guys. Yeah. We were both married at the time, and then I got divorced, and later on A got divorced, and so we were... Work in San Diego, and at some point, I just uh, asked her out on a date. And then uh, on that date, all of her friends threatened my life. Not kidding. At a party, I had two women threaten to kill me if I didn't take proper care of A. So just to keep myself alive, eventually yeah. I had to put a ring you on the ship. You yeah. had to do it. Yeah, had to do it. I remember, because I've heard this story, everybody, all of A's friends were like, the only way you can properly take care of her is if you get number one in the category of books on <laughs> Amazon <laughs> on Tuesday. That's it. Yeah, I got a couple a couple of people waiting. They're out there with a sickle. That's how that's their preferred weapon. A little hand sickle. So <laughs> if I don't hit number one, you guys fucking will never see me again. And it's your fault. So. I, remember, I can't remember where the process was. Uh, me and Ash saw you guys in San Diego yep. during the like a, a period in the the lockdown in California was was a different beast to the lockdown in, in, in the rest of the country. But there was like one moment where we were okay to like Consort in a park, but only in, in a park, in, in, open in, air, in, in appropriate areas. And so uh, uh, we came down to San Diego. We uh, oh, actually no, we came down to San Diego because we had just bought a car, and we we're like, well, what the fuck are we gonna do with it? Let's drive somewhere that's drivable. So we'll go to San Diego. We stayed down at the gas lamp, and literally we got back in time just for another gigantic lockdown where they yep. shut down everything. Uh, but in the meantime, we saw you guys, and if I remember. You guys were either about to get married or just gotten married. Just got married. Just got married. Yeah. I'm not you so good with time. To, no, you got. We had just gotten married. You did. Yes. Yes. Talk yes. into the microphone. <laughs> yes. 
Yep, I, I'll take her word for it. I'm not so good with time. <laughs> we were I'm about not, a month I, I married. I can think two weeks in the future and about two weeks in the past, and everything else is just a giant schmoz. I'm just yeah, this brag little about bubble. it. Why don't you? <laughs> that far? And uh, have you guys like done like a, a big? We a, a we we consecrated thing? the marriage. If that's what well, you're asking. Jeez, Louise, <laughs> with cheese. I mean, I wasn't asking that. Well, <laughs> but now that you're here, go on. This one, I think. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, we had we got. Um, Married in, at that time, was A's living room, yeah. which is now our living room. That's right. Okay. I'm on the deed, bro. And uh, we did it <laughs> We did it over Zoom, and everybody watched over Zoom. We had a bunch of fans watching over Zoom, family. Oh, wait it was a minute. Great. No, no, no. I, I actually just remembered I did watch your wedding. There you go. Zoom. You mother. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. No, but that was one of those really weird, sad, like, Super. pandemic memories that I feel like <laughs> I'm only now realizing it actually happened because I was so excited and so uh, attention-starved and just so sad that I could not be there. And then the thing that I remember about you guys' wedding was uh, uh, it happens, it's a big moment, everybody's doing their, like, silent claps. Everybody's shaking in, in, their in, hands in, on the camera. In, 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 in the windows. <laughs> And then it was just like, okay, <laughs> boop. <laughs> and then it's just me and my wife in like our like suits that we, yeah, suits and right. dress that we put on to fake that we were at a wedding, <laughs> just looking at a blank screen. And we're like, well, cheese its <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I, I think there's going to be some generational trauma that is going to be unpacked for a minute. Uh, but they're married, and that's what matters, and yes. now we're yeah. here. Yeah, now we're here, yeah. So, uh, uh, what do you say we play a game? Sorry. I'm in. Let's right. go. Let's ah, do it. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, yeah, we got bah, bah, bah. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Scott Sigler's got a lot of fans, and I bet a lot of them have been freeloading up until this moment got to shut that down. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. no freeloaders. No, I know. Because Scott's got a podcast for 17 years. People have been listening to it. They've been supporting his work in other ways. But they really haven't been, you know, paying the hard-earned <laughs> money. And Scott has a way that you can finally support him. He's been very, very shy Scott, about Scott asking. Scott was very excited. He called me and he says, guys, I have a new scheme yep. to allow my friends <laughs> to give you money. Yeah. And I said, what is it? And Scott said, it's patreon.com slash great night. Oh, wow. Uh, if you go to patreon.com slash great night, you can support Scott Sigler directly. That's right. <laughs> By giving money to us. <laughs> By giving money to us, eventually it'll get to him. We swear. Uh, yeah. You can support this podcast, patreon.com slash great night. There you go. I mean, that sounds very mathematically sound to me. Yep. <laughs> and I am known for my mathematical abilities. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'll have a different opinion when you hit number one in the category of books. <laughs> books? <laughs> what uh, category? The category of books. <laughs> oh, party foul! Party foul! Oh, no. Why Did you so spit funny? up on yourself? No, that made me laugh, and I blew into the beer. You know. <laughs> he blew into the beer. Fortunately, I had a change of clothes and I spilled all over myself. Am so I the a... only one on stage <laughs> yep. who can drink correctly? Barely so. Barely so. That's the way it is. <laughs> Jeez. There's man. still time, buddy. There's still time, Justin. No, yeah. I will not. Oh. You can just be a this, man uh, about it and self This is, this right is here. A, 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 a Chekhov's accurate drinker. <laughs> I am promising you that I will continue to, to hit my gullet with all of this beer, mm. sip by sip. It's amazing skills. Amazing skills, ladies and gentlemen. That's a round of applause for the one man on stage who can drink a beer. Seems like pandering to me. Hi, right, guys. You want a new game? Yes. I got a new game for you today. It's called Odd One Out. Okay. Odd One Out. Odd Go. One Out. That's right. I'm going to give you four things, and uh, you're going to just tell me the odd one out. Uh, thank you to our friend Sunbun, who inspired this, and our friends are at the New York Times. I'm. Uh, this is kind of... I, I, I've been playing their Connections game, uh, and that kind of inspired me to do something a little something like this. So I'm going to give you four items. You tell me which is the odd one out. It's very simple. All right. There we go. Brett, uh, would you like to play? Uh, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, would you mind keeping score for us? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank. Oh, okay. Oh. Cool. There are three players. There are yeah. three players. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All I right. mean, there are four numbers you That's could. Correct. First one to nine wins. Jesus Christ! This guy backs 
talking to God. Like, what is this? Fine, let's do that. <laughs> I'm just trying to point it out. <laughs> what production notes from the middle of the show. Well, I don't Justin know. I mean, Robert I'm Young. just saying. Like, he just seems so haughty about it. Just play the game. All right. <laughs> he doesn't mind as long as you're happy. It's fine. Let's go. All right. So we're going to start. Uh, you'll all answer each time. Uh, but uh, uh, is that how this works? Yeah, I think uh, it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to start with. Justin on this one. Thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the odd one out. Ba, ba, ba. Hindu, Mexican, Irish, Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one. <laughs> Which one is it? And why? Wait. So I, I have no concept oh. of <laughs> nothing. No, no you no, get nothing. I just That's get the bit. four things. That's the bit. Yep. Yeah. That's easy. Yep. Say them again. Hindu, Irish, Mexican, and Pharaoh. Beans. Sorry, I'm trying to help. I uh, see. This is this is where the connection thing comes in because uh, they're not all they're not all the same thing. They're a little similar, but they're not all the same thing. Which is the one that? <laughs> Thank God for clarifying that for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hindu, Irish, Mexican. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Well, I mean, I'm thinking that Pharaoh is not. A thing that you would call a person, but you might call a person a Hindu, you might call a person a Mexican, and you might call a person an Irish, but but that is a, a nationality or ethnicity. You don't normally say like, "Hey, this is my buddy. He's Pharaoh. Don't worry, he can say that joke." Just <laughs> a lot of my friends are Pharaoh. It's okay. I really have a lot of Pharaoh friends. So uh, I'm gonna go Pharaoh. You're gonna go with. Pharaoh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Scott. Don't call me Pharaoh. <laughs> no, <I'm> Pharaoh. <laughs> All right, uh, Scott, what about you? What do you think? Hindu, what? Irish, Mexican, Pharaoh. The Irish, Irish Mexican, <laughs> Hindu. Don't call me Pharaoh. Sorry. Do I give my reasons for this, or do I just sure, it out? Oh, yeah. talk it out. I'm going to go with Pharaoh, because I'm assuming that's a dead language, and the other three are active languages. Ah, okay, interesting. Brian, uh, Hindu, Irish, Mexican, and Pharaoh. Uh, I, I, uh, uh, well, one is a religion, one is a nationality, one is a ethnicity, and one is the enslaver of Egypt. Um, there are a lot of pharaohs, but okay. I'm going to yeah, say geez. that the odd one... Real is Old Testament of you. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> I think the odd one out is Hindu. I think the rest of them have... Beans of some variety. Beans. So you you're going with the bean hypothesis. Oh yeah, this motherfucker's beaning it. Yep. I, I speak, Bryce. Yeah, I, think I know what's what. Uh, yeah, that's that's unfair. Beans. You get second guess. The okay. musical fruit. They make two more you eat yeah. them. The more you eat them, specifically. Oh, the what happens you, then? The more you shit your pants. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. This is a family game. Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> That's a good, you know what? Good rejoinder, Brett. It's not. <laughs> All of you are wrong! Oh. We were looking for, let's see here. Uh, we Wait. Oh, no, it was it was Pharaoh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was the reasoning on this? Is there, what if I give you this? Uh, A.K.A. Indian. A.K.A. Wash. C. King Tut. And... Spiral. That did not help me at all. Does anybody in the audience know what this is? Is anyone in the audience high who can interpret this for us? We need the highest person yeah. in the room. Who's gonna, highest? A lot of blank faces A lot of blank Please faces explain here. by talking By the way, if you are high, I'm perception. accepting edibles. So, like, <laughs> I'm going to pass that. All right. We were looking for, these were, except for Pharaoh, these were all card shuffles. Oh, oh. God damn it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Hindu, Irish, the Mexican spiral. Wow. Now, not, if anyone in here uh, happens to be an amateur magician, <laughs> or pro. they Pharaoh might Pharaoh guess spelled, it. Pharaoh is spelled F A R O. I, 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 I will uh, Too fill a. Busy driving his truck. <laughs> thinking about the road and these truck nuts. What a file Left my the old life behind. No more shuffling mine. The only cards I need are the ones I see in my wheels. That didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, that's a point two. Truck Ju dad, huh? Yeah. Didn't remember card shuffles. Well, it, 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 you're the card shuffler. I, I, oh, it's true. I am the card shuffler. Only, you're the shuffler. There's only so much math he can do calculating travel prices and then all the things away. Mm -hmm. It's just out of control. Yeah. All uh, right, uh, that's a point to Justin and Scott. Let's Thank God. One. In the chat, Jan Dale G. Newman says, the history of failure is as old as, <laughs> as history itself. All right. Scott, we're going to start with you on this one. Pick the odd one out for me. Okay. Rally, Chapel Hill, Greensboro, Durham. Give me a second. Rally, Chapel Hill, Greensboro, Durham. I'm torn between Rally and Greensboro. Why is that? Because I'm thinking about basketball. Yeah. Which has a major university. Yep. So uh, I'm probably which one? Which one is which? <sighs> right. I don't Duke, follow North college Carolina, that well. Duke and North Carolina. Those are the two big. Yeah, so you've got those. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm go. I think it's wrong, but I'm gonna go Greensboro because Riley just sounds more sporty. I right. believe all four of them are in North Carolina, right? They are. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Scott's gonna say Greensboro, Brian. Right. What are you gonna say? Which was the odd one out? I don't know why, but I feel like Chapel Hill. Uh, uh, I think this is a, a, a secret sports ball thing, and yeah, that's what I think. I, I, I think it's Chapel Hill. I don't know why. All right, Justin. So I don't know if this is the answer, but I do know that this is a fact that I'm going to say. When I was a very, very lonely youth uh, uh, visiting my father in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands where he lived, uh, uh, don't worry, it was not impressive. <laughs> he was a sad, uh, uh, a single man. And I spent most of my time during the day watching television. And in St. Thomas in the 90s, they got one ABC affiliate. For whatever reason, it was the ABC affiliate from North Carolina. And I saw all of their promos about where they were broadcasting from. And so it is only because of that I know that Raleigh, Chapel Hill, and Durham are the research triangle in North Carolina. And you know Greensboro what, you know what's in the middle? is outside of it. So I will say that Greensboro is the odd one out because Raleigh, wow. Chapel Hill, and Durham are in the research triangle. In the center of that triangle is Cary, North Carolina, which uh, uh, is where you fly in uh, to RDU. Sorry, I'll go away. <laughs> you you said one half of a thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there we go. We got your answers here. Brian said Chapel Hill. Scott and Justin said Greensboro. We were looking for Greensboro. Hey! Because they got the other three are, are in the triangle? Uh, because they're in the research track. Hey! <laughs> wow! wow! Sports ball lack of knowledge wins the day. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you very much. All right. I watched Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade on like a, a broadcast television, which takes like six hours. <laughs> When you with put the ads, the, yeah. When you when you when you put all the ads in it, I think I saw that fucking promo about eleven times in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Brett. What is the score after two e two easy questions? Bryce, I think. the score. Easy questions. Fuck Very me. interesting. We have uh, Justin with two points. Oh, there we go. We have our friend Scott with two points. <laughs> Yeah, I'm milking the crap. And the moving right along. And that's it. Oh, except for Brian. Oh, Brian, wow. you have no point. No, that's 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 what they say. Yep. Okay. Uh, we got to figure out a new aesthetic for this bit. Put that right. Let's write that down, Brett. Let's figure out a new aesthetic for this bit. Oh, he, he, okay. Instead no, but he failed, Bryce. Uh, <laughs> He failed. Okay, all right. He I'm did a bad to, I'm job. Just, I'm just. And, and, it's a and, medical condition. And Brett is looking to give him withering no point judgment. Yeah, Bryce, just continue. Somebody just else, talk can we, over can him. Can we workshop? New you have permission judgment? to talk over him. That's starting right. now. This can we just continue with the game, talking all at the same time? Okay. All right. Well, he was that workshop was a right judgment there. of me. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. That's fine. I thought. But you want to know what? I like the spirit. Let's go. All right, there we go. Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready. Pick the odd one out. Jamba, Smoothie King, Orange Julius, mm. Tivana. I'm going to say Orange Julius, and I'm going to double down by saying they're 
they are out of business. Everyone else is a juicery. All right, you're gonna say Orange Julius. Justin, we're going to you now. Jamba, Orange Julius, Smoothie King, Tivana. I think this one's easy. Y'all think this one's easy? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, right? This fucking guy does. Uh, <laughs> And I'm with you. <laughs> I went to I'm a with house, you. and this guy <laughs> called me this, this fucking guy. guy. I, I looked at him, and he, he looked at me <laughs> with the knowing look of a fucking guy who knows it, and said, yeah. <laughs> it's easily Tivana. Yeah. And the reason is that all the other ones have blenders. <laughs> all right, we got an answer. This is, this is a higher stakes game than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, we're looking for you. Bring us home here. Jamba. Also, also going to Ivana because they serve tea and shit and the other ones don't. So there you go. All right. Tea and shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's granulated ice in the rest of them. Yeah. They're smoothies. all fucking smoothies, bro. They all look. You know how, Brian, you know how ice is a big clump? <laughs> I don't. I, 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 Imagine if Justin, it was I just a tiny, I small ball. The you know how I don't like, want to be, you know I, how, like shit. Justin, I'm about to turn 50, and I don't want to be on a podcast where we're talking about granulated ice. <laughs> I will say this though. Then you should go to Tivana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whatever uh, I had to say, no longer matters. So well done. All right, we were looking for T -t -t Tivana. Brian, you're. This fucker knows. Brian, you're gonna kick yourself. Uh, these were indeed brick and mortar drink uh, establishments. Tivana is closed. Oh wait, wait. You picked the only one that was out of business. I did. I picked the wrong one for the right wrong reason. Yep. Yeah. Right. No, I sniffed it. Ah, oh, dog on it. That's so right. close. So close, man. You're right there. <sighs> close. <laughs> Justin, we're gonna start with you on this next one. Thank Christ. <laughs> Pick the odd one out. Chop suey, pecking duck, crab rangoon, wonton strips. Mm. Oh, I, I got this one. <laughs> I'm going to go chop suey. They're going to go chop suey. What do, you think, uh, what do you think the thing is? It's a system of a down song. <laughs> there you go. Scott? They didn't make a song called Peking Duck. Didn't make a song called Crab Rangoon. Didn't make a song called are, Wonton Strips. Are you? Didn't perform that. Are you? Are you? And uh, for our, the Armenian Genocide Day. Are, <laughs> no. Nope. But they did perform Chop Suey. Are, are you? Because they are very famous. Are you, Brian? <laughs> are you? You were going to say something. <laughs> I just want to Please check go in. ahead. No, no, no. Like, uh, Brian? Uh, si sidebar. Yeah. Are you pulling a Cliff Clavin on Jeopardy where it's like, <laughs> like, who are three people who have never been in my kitchen? Well, Is that yeah. the bit you're doing? What? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, 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 those who don't know. Uh, okay. Right, All right, okay. Scott. Yeah, I, I know that one. Uh, can, I, can I see the answers again? This Absolutely. We've difficult. got chop very suey, difficult. pecking duck, crab rangoon, and wonton strips. Have you had any of these? Probably some geographical thing, but I'm going to go with uh, Peking duck because it's the only one with duck in it, and the other ones don't have duck. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Wait, got wins it. on a technicality. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I've never had a duck in my kitchen, so we've got that going, too. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, there it's two go. for two. Uh, so, uh, chop suey, or crab rangoon and Peking duck are both proteins. I think that the secret thing <laughs> is that it's about whether or not there's protein. I think chop suey does have protein. I think wonton strips don't. So, I'm going to go with wonton strips. Excellent. All right, you're going to go Straight with... Straight carbs. Yep. Hey, what do you think? I would go for wonton strips, too. Yep. Why? Because wonton Great. strips are not a whole meal. Oh, the kind of they're more of an app. Because I mean, actually, 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 like yeah. less than an app, more an like more like an like, like, yeah. Yeah, you just like send it out. You pump it up a bit with the wonton. Exactly. Steps, yeah. Mm, pump Except, it up. Pump it up. Yeah. Pump it up with the wonton. A little more. Flowing. I, I no. Get your peking duck on the I dance floor. Everything I said. You can't right. fall away from the bit before you start it. No, you want to know what? Go. Let's do like. Oh, oh, damn! Right in front of a bunch of strangers, I have to freestyle. I'm really upset with my comedy partner. Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it! 
No, no I thought we just you were just gonna do pump up the jams, but with wonton strings. Doubling down now, huh? I mean, let let's see how this round goes. Okay. All right. All right. And then you're gonna pump up the jams. I will, we'll, we'll will you pump up the wonton jams? I mean, nobody knows how pumped the wonton jams are. We, we have to get a report. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's the answer? Let's go. All right. Uh, the category was American Chinese dishes. Mm-hmm. Folks, Peking duck ah! is not American Chinese. Oh. No, no, no. Peking duck is not an American Chinese dish. That's right. Damn. Uh, 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 uh. Sashay, sashay, sashay. <laughs> it's giving work, bitch. <laughs> That's right. Peking duck uh, is actually Chinese. The rest of these are American Chinese cuisine. Fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm like a that. genius, and my reason for picking all four has been completely wrong every yep. time. Nailed it. But you know what? When you're hot, feed them from the three. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Next no, I, 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 to be honest. Just get out. I, get I, out. I, uh, uh, every so often, you wake up, and you just get a plus three to luck. Yep. yep. I hope yep. today is that day, and it results in <laughs> the number one book on Amazon. Hey! Hey! Let's go. The Crypt by Scott Sigler. Let's get go, chat room. Right Let's now. go, chat room. Here we go. All right, uh, we're gonna start with uh, Scott on this next one. Great, here I'm we excited go. For this. Here we go. Bum, bum. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna go with hung Any up. Any guesses? Any guesses, everyone? Five for five, bitches. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right, so victory the, pop. Uh, there it is. Audio oh, listeners. The, yeah. options, the, the, the options are competence. <laughs> <laughs> A good show, uh, a beard, a really good game, <laughs> and Bryce, oh. <laughs> which is the odd one out, <laughs> which is the odd one out. Fuck, shit. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. Bryce hey, I showed can the answer, uh, uh, audio <laughs> listeners. He showed the answer on screen. All right. I could save us. Uh, you tell me, why is it the odd one out? Hung up, bad day, so sick, and S.O.S. Why that's is good, hung that's up? That's a good retort, Bryce. I'm proud of you. That's no, pretty good. No, move to the next one. Can <sighs> we, do we have a next one? Fine. They were uh, uh, songs, number one songs on the Hot 100. Oh, yeah. yeah no, good, we wouldn't good have thing got that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing Bullet good, Dodged. Good, 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 <laughs> good comedy move. Wait, I wouldn't have got that one either. Yeah. All right. Here's, uh, here's one for you. We're going to start with Scott on this one. All right. And we're actually going to start with you on this time. Careful with your fingers. Take the odd one out. Seymour Guado. Bob Good. Bane Sword, uh, uh, scary, excuse me, Sorrow Bane Sword, and Sid Reigns. I have no fucking idea who any of these people are. If they're actually people, I don't know. So uh, let's see. But who might they be? It sounds like a good hang. <laughs> like if you're telling a story and you're like, fuck, man. I'm going to anyway, go. Anyway, <laughs> we land in Orlando, Seymour Guado's there, and Bob Good says Bob we Good? got the black truck. Oh, shit. Anyway, we show up got in the black truck. <laughs> <laughs> black truck. We show up in Epcot, and who's there? <laughs> Sorrow Bait Sword. <laughs> and then Sid Rain says, I got the duplex that is bigger than where you conceived your second daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Sorrow Bane Sword because that sounds like someone who didn't do comedy in the Catskills back in 1937. So that's my answer right there. All right. No, it's definitely uh, Bob Good because that's the only one that's not a canonical Star Wars character. <laughs> Uh-huh. Seymour Guardo, it's been a long time. You owe me so many credits. I got your money, Seymour. I, 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 I'm gonna Sorrow get your money. Sorrow Mainsword sent me over. <laughs> they do. They do all sound like yeah. extended universe. Like I, yeah, I, 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 I can feel do. like I'm, I'm half listening in an audio book, like on a plane, where it's like Seymour Guardo walked into the cantina. You owe me money, hon. Yeah, take it up with Sid Reigns. <laughs> uh, Are there any Star Wars characters just named Bob, though? Because really, shouldn't there be? Bob's well, yeah, that, that's name. why that was my old man. Yeah. That would be great. All right. Yeah, we'll see. What'd like, you pick? like, who's in charge of guarding the exhaust port on the Death Star? 
And it's Bob. <laughs> oh, it's me, <laughs> Bob Good. <laughs> hey, Bob, close the latch on that motherfucker, will you? Jesus, someone's gonna throw a torpedo down there for Christ's sakes. Okay. But my God, no, no one's gonna throw a torpedo down here these days, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna get some fuck chatter on the, the radar. Right? It seems like, are you sure you don't want to close it? <laughs> Star Wars Chicago, we gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, listen, Palpatine, fuck nuts. <laughs> How about you tug on this for a little bit, Palpatine? Uh, Br Bryce, can we put the game on pause and sell Scott on on our bit with the uh, with the Palpatine sisters? Oh, oh yeah, shit. yeah, What's yeah. This? No, Let's here we go. go. I'm already, I'm dancing already. I don't even know right. what it is. It's, it's uh, this, this is a. Uh, okay. uh, uh, the Palpatine sisters uh, invite you to believe a beautiful world where uh, uh, the Palpatine <laughs> line has continued and continued, uh, uh, and they all look like Palpatine, but these two are very slutty influencers. Yeah, I like where this is going. All and right. it's Tuesday night. <laughs> yes. And you know what night Tuesday is. Yes, it's we get naughty have, uh, on Tuesday. Either of these bitches been cut in half of the lightsaber and put back together. No. Okay, great. Let's continue. <laughs> Although we're always willing to try. <laughs> Listen, if you kiss her, I'll show you my titty. Yes. You guys, should I be getting erect right now or is that bad? I'm not sure. Yes. 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 Have you ever been oh, with two Palpatine <laughs> sisters at the same time? I feel We're like related. If that weirds you out, I feel like you need the one goofy Palpatine sister who's actually good. Like, hello, <laughs> I'm saving myself a marriage. I have on to have a promise ring first. I'm She's about such to a bitch. I hate her. <laughs> I was going to do karaoke. I, was I will going... say those robes make your ass look fat. So there you are. I, I was going to do Harper you're... Valley PTA. Oh, the Harper Valley PTA is one of my favorite songs. It's We're favorite. all going in three different directions <laughs> for this bit. <laughs> anyway, maybe we can get back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> the Palpatine hey! in. Yeah! <laughs> Justin, I think we were at you. Uh, yeah. Seymour Guado, Bob Good, Sorrow Bane Sword, Sid Reigns. Bob Good. I said Bob. Uh, it's the only one that isn't another name refigured. Oh, yep. Another okay. name refigured? Yeah. Like, like anagram. Like, anagram you, you, yeah. 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 No. You, 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 you done goofed all the letters like yep. you were some sort of a uh, jumble man. I did? Yeah. Oh. That's or somebody else did. They, I don't they, know. they do. They do reek of anagramism. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got your answers here. Justin said Bob. Brian said Bob. Scott said Sorrow. We were looking for Bob Good. Yay! Yay! Uh, 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 the rest of these are video game villains. No way. Uh, Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy Thirteen. Dragon Fury Best Queen the Fourth. That's right. Uh, Bob Good is from Virginia's fifth. You know, if you have another kid, you could name it Derek. Oh, King. I think he voted against McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a speaker of the house uh, expelled for the first time in American history. Yep, that's a thing that happened today. Yeah, oh, today, just fun, before yeah, you went thing. on a comedy well, show. And you want to know what? You wonder the fucked up thing was? Was the last thing that Kevin McCarthy said as speaker? He looked fucking dead into the camera. I don't know because a lot of you guys were on the way here when it happened, but I saw it. He looked dead in the camera and said, Buy the Crypt from Scott Ziggler. <laughs> Available now. Yes! McCarthy! That's, yeah! weird, that's a weird fucking thing. It's a weird thing for a American California history. boy knows what's yeah. up. He knows exactly. what's up. Yeah. 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 To be unemployed. Which, <laughs> well, he's still got a job. He's he not does. speaker of the He house. doesn't have a special job. Oh, we yeah. don't know special. He has a regular yeah. job. Oh, what is he, yeah. Bob Good over here? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, next. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, let's check in the scores, Brett. Where are your scores? Is my uh, first? I need for you to check in. Are those correct? Uh, uh, Brian's also got a point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> God licks his finger so, and turns over one point. I, I, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to start any shit. But you got one job back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change. You know what? Well, I can also take points away. <laughs> so. I did deputize him to do that. Yep. Unfortunately, I can't get it out of the contract. La la la. So, uh, of course, <laughs> a grateful world knows that Scott has five points. Yes. Justin has four points. Ooh. 
Ryan is on his way back with one point. Yeah. yeah one point. Let's go. There yeah. we go. It's time for our final round. This is our six point round. Whoa! Oh, shit. Pop, Anyone pop, can pop, win. Pop. It this better be a goddamn pop. sports question, all right? For fuck's sake. Let's go. And uh, because he's in the lead, Justin, you're going to have to go first for me on this one. No, Scott. Mm? Scott, Scott does. Justin. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> or am I in the lead? It should be four four one, Brett. See, there we go. That's Gosh, dang it! <laughs> Gosh, no. You should have let him write. You should have let Brett just write them down <laughs> instead of making him use the crazy <laughs> no, I, I, thing. I like seeing the numbers. Yeah, no, we're it's all right. All right. There you go. Anyway, uh, anyway, still six point round. We're gonna start with Justin on this one. All right, yeah. Here we go. Pick the odd one out. Route Celtic tribe wind. Hmm. <laughs> Go on, talk it out. Route, Celtic, Tribe, and Win. Yeah, one of them doesn't belong. Which one? Make a judgment. Three of these things like tribe just together. Uh, Three of these things are Tribe kind of the same. because it's the only one called Quest. <laughs> All right, there we go. Scott, hmm. pick the odd one out. Route, Celtic, Tribe, Wind. I'm going to go with Route because Sports Ball says there are no teams called Route. But there are teams called the other three and or nicknamed the other three. So I'll go with Route. Wait, wait, hold on. The uh, uh, No team is nicknamed Tribe anymore. Now they're just the guards. You know what? Uh, he's already no, no, no. locked it Brad, in. That the means it's the my Brace. turn. Uh, the good nickname, hey. the side nickname for the Brace. It's the Tribe. They're called the Tribe. Yeah. You guys. No. Yeah. It was, no, it was no, it was it was the Indians that were the Tribe. Fuck. Well, no. Yeah. yeah okay, and now right. and now they're not anymore. But they are. Wait a minute. Okay, so there's two Nobody ways. Nobody called the Braves the tribe. There's two ways to go here. Uh, originally, I was thinking that Celtic and tribe uh, were the in-group because they're types of tattoos. A Celtic tattoo or a tribal and a tattoo. Tribe also tattoo. types of yeah. tribes. Right. But I didn't know of a wind tattoo or a root Celtic tattoo. Celtic tattoos, tribal tattoos, and farting. Things that bros do. But, <laughs> but in the chat, somebody mentioned homonyms. And all of, most of these are able to be pronounced two different ways. Uh, Celtic or Celtic, uh, wind wind. Tribe only has one way to say it. Root route is also how that is. Uh, I'm going to go with tribe. Uh, 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 it's, it's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. You're fucking reading yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Six points, motherfuckers. Six points. Six points oh, in the game. Two. Six points. You. No, Baby's day everybody, now. <laughs> everybody has to. Point yeah. of order. Point of order. The chat room wins. It was a six-point question. I chat room wins. I think, I think all of us except no, you two win. I won. That is, I, I got well, I tribe, go. too. I said tribe. Okay. Quest. There's one yeah, thing but I agree said, on. why right? Come on. And that's that. No, everybody yes, should no, go no, by yes. the crypt. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. He, he got the right answer. It's all that matters. But everybody should go buy the crypt. That's what <laughs> Uh, uh, and if you haven't bought the fucking book already, the fuck is wrong with you? That's Look fine. at the free talent you're getting around you every I goddamn know. week, you sons of bitches. You Wait. fucking sons of bitches. Which camera do I point at? I want you to get mad at somebody. Uh, this one? You fucking sons of bitches. <laughs> get in their face. all the get in their face. I'm, I'm Scott Sigler. I'm very mad. I'm yelling at you. Buy the crypt right now. It's available. Holy shit. <laughs> what you're gonna do, and you're going praise him, praise him. You're gonna buy, praise, praise him, buy. and you're gonna do that by buying Shakedown. Thank you, uh, Bryce. Yes, uh, uh, thank you again to Sunbun and the New York Times for inspiring some of this. Uh, if you've got an idea for a game, please email it to us. <laughs> great night pod at yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk. We'll talk about it. Uh, uh, uh great night pod at is the email address you can find it. Uh, in the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Make sure you join the Discord uh, and check out Marbles. Uh, Marbles.win is a website. Thank you. Uh, Scott. Yes. This has been the most delightful day since the pandemic started for me. I believe, yes. Like it's having all of your fantastic fans who will, I hope, make some noise right now. <laughs> I would like to point out, they have been extremely polite and have not sworn once, which is very unusual. Do they the normally swear? Book. They can't, You can't shut the fuckers up most of the time, dude. And they've been very <laughs> Give me, give me thing, things that you've heard 
at your live events that have shocked you? Uh, things I've heard live at events that have shocked me. Number one, you can't do that to a gopher. That was a, that was a thing. Just yelled out. Yeah. Who you can't, can't do that to a gopher. You can't have a baby goat in here. Yeah. You can't have a baby goat in here was a, was an actual thing. And also tell me, put my pants back on, which I was offended. I was very offended. Uh, I have very supple, shapely legs, man. You I do. really do. You do. I really do. You do. So. You've got, you've got, uh, 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 real, real, uh, uh stems. I do, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it can attract as a Palpatine sister. You gotta look good. <laughs> yeah. You gotta look I have yeah. supple thighs. Uh, look don't at the look curve into of my, my buttocks. Eyes. Eyes. I like to wear shorts that lift and separate. <laughs> I, yeah. You, I we will kiss each other if you give us a shot. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm very very uncomfortable I all the time. Lightning from my area. I once made out with Momon Nadal. Yes. Nobody yes. knows. My that my friend has bane yes. sword. So there you go. Uh, 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 <laughs> Brett, what did we learn today? We've learned so many things today. Yep. Brian, first of all, we've learned that beer baptism, it's a thing. Yep. <laughs> it's totally a thing. We've learned that I am the point keeper. I'm like the Pope. Yes. Yep. Except fallible. Okay. <laughs> and maybe... Maybe sometime I want to have fans follow me around like yes. that. Maybe. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is write how many books? 20. Yeah. <laughs> and On podcasts for 17 years. Yeah. But you can start doing it today. You know what? Yeah. The you first can start step is doing the most it today. Step, man. First step. Uh, uh, it is one of my favorite things on the planet whenever we get to link up with Scott Segler, a, a internet uh, fucking legend. Please, everybody, give it up for him. The Crypt is available now. The beer is still drying on his shirt. Please, everybody. It's still a great night. Great Shine night. on, you crazy diamonds! We love you guys! You Woo! Number one in books! Number one, let's go! No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>